Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at a pocket cowboy knife. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at a uh, pocket knife for you guys. Again, uh, if you watch my other video I just recently uh, released, uh, I talk about doing some more traditional style knives uh, and some products going forward. Um, I'm going to mix that in. Um, still staying true to the channel, doing guns and gear and outdoor type gear, uh, but these are the type knives I grew up on as a kid. Uh, the more traditional style knives, we didn't really have tactical knives back when I was a kid. Uh, for the most part, I mean, you know, later on in life, we had the Rambo knife that you bought at the local flea market, but we didn't have all this crazy stuff. I mean, a K bar was about as tactical as it was back then. Um, so, anyway. I want to bring you some more traditional knives, and recently I had to toss a knife in a trash can. Long story short is, went to a Coliseum event with my kid and my wife, and I forgot my pocket knife was in my pocket, and wound up having to toss it in a trash can. Wasn't that expensive of a knife, but it was a, it was my knife, and I didn't want to throw it away, but I wasn't walking all the way back to my truck. It was like, you know, half a mile down the parking lot. So I said, forget it, and I just tossed it in the trash like they require you to do or whatever, but... Uh, Anyway, so we're looking at a uh, good price point on this, $12.99 on Amazon. So speaking of Amazon, check out the Amazon store down there. I have started one, and I've started one specific to, uh, it's called the Knife Store, and it is specific to more traditional style knives. And so a lot of the knives you'll see in there is traditional. They're very decorative a lot of times, Damascus, things like that, but they're at a re reasonable price point. And that's what I wanted to kind of bring to you guys. I always remembered those knives that were special, that kind of looked cool or kind of had a pretty look to them. So that's kind of what I've been looking for and some knives to share with you guys. And uh, I found this one, thought it was kind of neat, and I uh, wanted to show it to you. So again, $12.99 on Amazon, and uh, we'll uh, take a look at it. So this one is by James Cutlery. Nothing fancy whatsoever about the packaging, just a blister pack. Uh, James Cutlery, been in business since 2001. We'll go over the bullet points on the pack here. A Q251 surgical steel, brass bolster, molasses bone handle stag lock blade knife it says it is a usa company but it is made in china for you guys getting ready to ask again probably 90 percent of knives now are made in china even some of the mainstream uh, brands that everybody knows so let's take a look it's not overly big i'll show you that in my hand uh it's a it's a medium-sized pocket knife it is nothing uh too large it is nothing um you know too big or whatever it's about you know average I've had, I've had them smaller, I've carried them larger, but uh, it's got a bone handle. I have not tested this to see if it's authentic bone. I'm going to say it is. Uh, a lot of times they'll tell you if it's synthetic or uh, some type of plastic, it'll, it'll say that. I think this is actually bone handle. It's got a nice decorative bolster here on both sides kind of carved out, uh, kind of got that, you know, Western look to it. Um, it is a lock blade, which I like even in a small pocket knife. A lot of times I carried one like a trapper or a barlow or something that was not a locking blade. Uh, but if I can get one small enough and decent enough, I do like a locking blade if possible in a pocket knife. It's just safer when you're doing certain tasks and chores. So take a look. Total length. So it's decent. It's a good size. I like how it curves here. It kind of fits nice in the hand. I can, I can get a good purchase on it. Nice, uh, you know, for doing tasks or whatever you need to do. It does have brass pins. Again, lock blade. It was a little stiff when I first got it. I put a drop of oil in it. It's fine. Uh, it's still a little stiff. I don't want to say rough, but it's actually pretty smooth considering it's a $13 knife delivered to your door. Uh, I was pretty impressed with it, to be honest with you. Um, you know, how smooth the, everything is. It doesn't really have any rough edges or anything. You would think the, the finish, we call it, or the polish, fit and polish or fit and finish would be a little rougher, uh, in my opinion, for this price point, but it's actually pretty 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 nice to be honest with you so that's what i'm looking for if it didn't have those things i'd tell you uh, or i just wouldn't review it and just send it back to amazon but I, i'm gonna keep this one i do like it so let's take a look at measurements real quick so let's do the closed first so it is roughly 
three and a half inches let's see oh uh, well three and about a three and a half three and five eighths in length closed take the open measurement so we're looking at about six and a quarter inches in length so it's not a like again not a small knife but it's about right for me all right, for you guys that ask about what stuff weighs, Lord, y'all kill me. Um, I finally bought scales for the channel. So I bought a set of digital scales. A lot of people ask what something weighs. Um, I didn't really have a good way to do that before. Now I bought a set of digital scales for you guys. So let's take a weight on this. 2.43 ounces. So there you go. For you guys that uh, ask about weight, now you know the answer to this knife. But overall, I'm very pleased with it, and uh, I'm going to carry it. I, I think it's a pretty cool looking knife too, and um, I think it, uh, you know, it's not a it's not a keepsake. It's not something that you're going to uh, pass down from generation to generation. You know, case knife, whatever, uh, old Henry that your grand granddaddy had or something. Uh, but you know, as far as a, just a utility pocket knife that still looks nice, this right here fits the bill for that at an affordable price point. But, but anyway, guys, hope that was helpful. Uh, let's do a little um, cutting test real quick. So this knife was decently sharp. It's not crazy sharp or anything, uh, but it's decent. It... Uh, so you see there, uh, it actually was able to shave my arm but I kind of had to work at getting it to shave. It didn't just come down and start popping hairs off. Uh, but it popped some. If you look, kind of bald right there. Um, but like you see the hair on the blade. So it does, for, for a cheap pocket knife that, you know, again, 13 bucks. Um, and it's that sharp and a pretty good looking knife. I think it's worth it. But anyway, guys, hope that was helpful. Again, going to share some different, uh, more traditional knives with you in the future. Different reviews and uh, hope you enjoy them. But as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. If you got any uh, questions about this, be sure to put that in the comments below, and uh, we'll bring you another video shortly. Have a great day.